what's going on everyone and welcome back to another medieval dynasty guide so recently i have got quite a few questions on how to farm early on so in this video i will explain how to do so if you find this video helpful in any way and would like to show your support drop a like and hit that subscribe button to help reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers now let's get started all right so as many of you may be aware medieval dynasty is a survival game where you build up your village and in doing so need to farm crops and tend to barn animals as much as possible there is a lot to do in the game without farming, but chances are, if you want to make easy end game money, have better nutrition, then you need to farm your way there. For example, farming onions early on will allow you to cook meat with gravy, which has a nutritional value of 25 and can easily restore your nutrition. Or maybe you want to make some easy money by growing flax, making linen, and then making clothing to sell. Either way, I will break down the process of setting you up for success early on. First and foremost, let's discuss your area. You definitely want to make sure that you have plenty of room for growing your crop and then some. A big field could easily be filled up with seeds when you plant them. Once you get the hang of this process, you will start planting more and more and more as well as a variety of crops. So again, make sure that you save a lot of room for doing so. Next, we start building your field out. When opening the build wheel, we want to select building and then farming and then field. This will bring up a short wooden post that you can then select where to place. Once selected, you can turn and back up to expand it out. The biggest field that you can have is 16 by 16, so anything within that range will work. Now, as far as recommendations, I have seen some online build multiple and simple two by twos, and then I myself have built a 16 by eight. It really comes down to your preference, but be sure to know exactly what you want, as some have reported a bug in the game where even if you destroy your plot, you still have taxes to pay on. Once your plot is decided, you will then need to plow it using a wooden hoe, and then you will need a bag to hold your seeds and manure. These are pretty easy to acquire as the hoe only needs one log and 10 sticks, so no need to worry about that. The bag requires three leather, which you can get from killing animals, so either hunt foxes, rabbits, or boars for those. Set these tools aside because we need to buy some manure next, which can be quite heavy. Manure can be acquired from animals on your farm or bought by traders. Now, if you're just starting out and chances are, if you're watching this video, then get some money together because you're going to need to buy manure. You can easily do this by using your senses to gather some of those St. John's flowers and selling them to make a few hundred pretty easy. The following traders have manure available for sale. Nortbert in Berenica, you have Rajmond, which is west of Branica, Tamira or Tamira, however you pronounce that, she is going to be in Rolnica, and then you have Dagobert, which is in Danica. Also, while you're there, make sure that you grab some seeds as well from some of these traders, as you will need to plant them, of course, to grow anything. Now that you have the manure, the seeds, the bag, and the wooden hoe, go back to your village and make sure that you have your bag equipped. Your bag will have the option to change what is actually in the bag from your inventory. Select manure and then begin to spread it all over the plowed field one square at a time. Once done, you can then go and use your wooden hoe to plow the manure for each square and this is required before continuing. Next, open your bag up and change to whatever seed you want to grow, and then just like you did with the manure, spread these over each square. Once you have completed your planting, you will then need to wait a couple of days for these to grow and be pluckable. Usually it takes about two days time before they are ready, but some I have found to take a little bit longer, so I'm honestly not sure on the exact time, but again, just be patient for these. Things like flax need to be picked with a scythe, which you can either buy or make. Now on another note, you should be planting your crop in spring or summer and not too close to winter, so just a heads up on that. Once done, you should have some amazing vegetables or crops available to pick and then do what you please with them. Down the road, as people join your village or you have a wife, they can help you out with your crops, which I would highly recommend to automate some of your more manual tasks. All right, everyone, so that was a simple guide on how to get started farming in Medieval Dynasty. I do hope you found this video helpful and pretty thorough. And if you did, drop a like and subscribe to help reach our goal of 10,000 amazing subscribers. We have plenty of more guides and tips for Medieval Dynasty coming very soon, so be on the lookout for those. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.